there. These are the products you're going to use. So I'm going to take just my whole lot of body mousse, my Garnier Fructis Curl Nourish, and also my Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner, and also some pure Argan Oil. So what you're going to see me do is I'm spraying the hair with the mixture that we created. And then I'm basically going to take it piece by piece. I'm kind of sectioning it, sectioning it off. And I'm using my wide tooth comb and I'm just going to comb it out. As I'm combing, I'm also finger detangling because I found that finger detangling really helps with just detangling this hair. I don't know. It just really worked for me. And I also, what method that I found worked was starting from the bottom and then working your way up to the root that's how i personally even work with my natural curly hair i start with the bottom and then work my way up to the root so i found that to be really helpful for this hair as well So after finishing detangling this hair, I'm going to take the Garnier Fructis Curl Nourish once again and I'm going to put that throughout the hair because I felt like I wanted the curls to be a bit more defined and also wanted to tame some of the frizziness that was caused by me combing and brushing out the hair, which I think is pretty normal. So yeah, I just used it and I especially took it all the way down to the ends to make sure that they were moisturized. Okay, so that was me detangling and basically just revamping my long curly synthetic wig. This honestly was my first time doing it, so this was kind of like an experiment for me. I was looking at videos and I didn't use the same products as them, but I definitely took their advice. So I'm just going to repeat it. I should like mute my TV. Huh? First, in the spray bottle, I put a little bit of argan oil, like up to here. Then I put this mousse. It's a foaming mousse. It defines curls. And then I put this Garnier Fructus Curl Nourish Leave-In Treatment, which you saw me put at the end as well. And then, so I filled it up halfway with the product. And then I filled, like, another half with water. I shook it up, and that's what was this little conjunction in here. And then what I did was, you saw I sprayed each part, and then so with what we made and then at the end I put some of the curl nourish now it's definitely puffier than when I first got it and the curls aren't as um, defined as when I first got it I'm gonna add some more curl nourish but really had a hard time with trying to just tame this wig it kept getting knotted and everything so what I just did really helped me just be able to detangle it and to get it looking much better than it did so I'll definitely be doing this again I feel like maybe I'll do it I don't know a few times even when I want to wear it just to make it look a little better I might spray a little bit of that mixture on it just a little just to give it some revamping as I wear it but it's obviously not laid. I didn't do anything to it because I just I found it I found it easier to work on like putting it on my head than like a wig head because my wig heads just aren't really it for that, but she's nice and detangled and now the curls are definitely a bit more defined and she just looks a lot better and just much more 
moisturized, not too dry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was somewhat helpful because me searching up and then coming up with the products that I had and all of these are not expensive products whatsoever, which I'm not saying the other videos show that, but I was just saying the spray bottle is literally from Dollar Tree. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys helped you and don't forget to like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. to you